Hello there, welcome back. This is part 4 of the Yuki Industry walkthrough. I'm developer of Uranium Power. So, uh, last time we left off at the um, the walls because uh, I need to cut short because the, uh, the video was getting beyond 30 minutes. Alright, so we'll resume here. So, walls. So, Yoki's has a lot of walls. You see here brick walls. Durator walls, Kraken walls, Arctic walls. Okay, so let's place them down just to get a feel how they are. Um, he recently made these uh, additions where the walls are connected. They look better, more connected than they were, right? Earlier versions, the walls uh, they look kind of like little pyramids. <laughs> and he recently made improvements to them. So I'm going to build them close to the uh, our wall, right? To the vanilla wall, to so you can compare. Um, okay, and you you see why I'm doing this way. Hardic wall. Hardic wall. This wall is hard. <laughs> Quite corny. It is uh, two by two. So this wall is four thousand. All right. Finally, we got these two walls. So there is the laser version of the walls, as well as the passive version. Of by the way, these, these join together and they look very nice uh, next to uh, gates. So gates, you know, looks ter terrific with them. Yeah. I think I like the passive ones more. You see, so they look really nice with gates. Of course, the Hardic walls. Different with gates, right? <laughs> Somewhat glitchy, so don't use these with gates. All right. So, how are they different? Uh, how are they different? Besides the hit points, of course. Uh, as you go towards the outside, the walls get more and more uh, hit points, but they also differ in the uh, resistance, right? The vanilla walls, you see that it has resistant 100% to fire. Okay. Uh, you can expect the same with every kind of wall except for Kraken Wall. Kraken Wall has a 90% resistance to fire. So, I think this is a mistake. Uh, maybe, I don't know. But it makes no sense. Um, why would you uh, make all the other walls you know, immune to fire except for the, the Kraken Wall? The other thing that uh, is missing from the wall is impact resistance. Uh, this one has 60% impact resistance. Yuki walls don't have impact resistance. So don't run over these with your your vehicles. They will take quite a bit of damage. Let me see. Give ourselves a tank. As well as some coal.
almost killed that one. So the vanilla walls basically takes less damage than the um, Yoki walls. So don't drive over them. Uh, it doesn't do good for your wall's health. Let's try to see if we can go against this full, full speed. Oops. <laughs> so I ran over the walls. defense system is actually a laser just disguised as a wall okay the passive ones don't have any kind of laser they look pretty but they're actually less effective than these other walls right it has um, no laser damage whatsoever right uh, no razor resistance excuse me right? so I don't know why he would you put laser unless of course you use for PvP right Would I use these? Yeah, they look pretty. Of course I would use them. I would use many layers of them. Okay, so... Of course, we're gonna have to demonstrate how durable these walls are. So let us... Let us play. Uh, why am I doing that? I have bots. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to replace a section of this wall here with um, the same wall that came from Yoki. See how they stand up to the onslaught of of. Uh, you see that they actually even connect to the to the vanilla walls. So that's very nice. Yuki's, uh, Yuki did that recently. Come, my friends. I have need of you. Maybe I didn't get enough. You can touch the thing. No. Nope. Yeah, killing over and dying. So some of the walls, yeah, nothing died. Good. All right. So nothing died, except for my bots. Logistics. Get uh, another stack. Okay. So nothing died except for my bots. That's a good thing. All right. So these walls, even the brick ones, stand up to to test. So. I don't have to test the other ones, but uh, you can see that they're quite effective. Let's put them back. Alright. I do want to test the uh, this though. Okay. So, how do they work? So because I told you that they are actually lasers, you're going to have to power them. So 
So don't use this everywhere. Um, use them in a certain part of your wall. You know where they'll come to attack you. See what's going on? So these are the lasers. Now the thing with la with laser from Yoki is that they they tend to shoot fast but have low recharge. So you notice that they the literacy actually go down because they they recharge slower than they can shoot. So don't rely on them thinking that they can shoot forever. <laughs> They're not the same thing as uh, the laser that came, from that came from vanilla, okay? They're different. They recharge slower and they kind of empty their, their capacitor. Excuse me, and then they they will they will sit around looking at you, okay? So are they effective? Of course they're effective. Just, you just need to know that's how they behave. Test the lasers. So these are supposed to be used with the Hardic Wall. Okay, so they look they look like the the large Hardic Wall version. Ah, something came and got shot. So I'm going to put two layers of this hardic wall, that way this guy don't get touched. Oh, and I'm going to get some fancy buggers. slowing down in their shooting rate. <laughs> so, be careful. If you rely on lasers, make sure make sure that you have enough of them. They also use quite a bit of power. The other laser that we have is the last T, as well as the zero time transfer. Um, they behave exactly the same way as um, as these here. Okay, the only difference is that they have a larger buffer, I think. Yeah, and they uh, consume more energy. So this one has a very high shooting speed. Okay, I would use these. These are comparable. They just use so much energy. But they look nice, so I'll place them down. So, there. And of course, over here. So they look very nice. So let's get ourselves another wave of baddies. I don't want you to come down that way. 
See how fast this thing shoots? It also runs out of electricity. Something has to die. <laughs> I let so many buggers. Something had to die. That was expected. We still had stragglers. Alright, so while the stragglers are being dealt with, we of course also have two very large turrets. So how are they different from the vanilla turrets? Well, for well, the one thing, they occupy the same space, so they're not different in that aspect. Um, it is they are different in terms of um, how far they can shoot. So Yoki turrets shoots further. Okay. If you take a look, the gun T has a shorter range than the T over 2 but it uh, has a higher damage bonus than the T over 2 okay so notice that it also shoots slower than the T over 2 so that's a some pros and cons maybe you want uh, several layers of those right you want the uh, layer T over 2 to be further in, whereas the T itself is going to be a bit out. Look at that, that thing is shooting further away. about the walls being damaged. I think the guns actually shoot the walls. Yeah, they eat through ammo. <laughs> Look at that. That thing chews through ammo. Oh my goodness. I put in uh, 200 rounds and it's down to 104. So yes. Yoki guns run through ammo. Like nobody's business. Okay, so you feed them. You better feed the ammo because they will eat them. All right. So I think that concludes this episode. Uh, the next episode, I will talk about these pipes as well as the trains and the uh, chest. Okay. See you soon. <laughs>